What's going on, 49er faithful, 49er fan, 49er gang? It's your boy 49er Dion here back with another quick hitter. So we have our second opt-out of the season. So our second opt-out of the season was supposed to be our swing tackle last year and was competing for a roster spot this year. That is Sean Coleman. So if you remember last year in the preseason, Sean Coleman fractured his fibula and he was on demand that he was going to be competing for a roster spot this year. So, uh, with him opting out, that leaves the door open for other players to go ahead and have an easier road onto the roster. Um, these players basically will have that stipend uh, money coming to them, I believe. Travis Benjamin is going to get like the 150, but Sean Coleman did survive leukemia earlier in his life. So, I believe he'll probably wind up getting like, I think it's like 350 or something like that, 350,000. Um, but basically, he was fighting for a roster spot anyway. Both of these guys were on the bubble. It wasn't really like, you know, these were two viable threats to make the squad or these guys had anything going for themselves that was going to tell us that they were going to be, you know, great, uh, you know, great assets for the team. Travis Benjamin only really brought probably some returnability. He had never been a, a ridiculously great receiver. Sean Coleman's been good at swing tackle, but, I mean, He's never really been a top-level offensive lineman, so losing Sean Coleman and Travis Benjamin doesn't bother me much, but it is new, so I am going to go ahead and let you guys know. So our two opt-outs so far have been Travis Benjamin and Sean Coleman, and other than that, we haven't had anyone else opt out. Uh, per Grant Cohn, sounds like George Kittle's agent tried to go ahead and basically throw the threat of George Kittle opting out um, as uh, you know a way to get the 49ers back to the negotiating table but Kittle showed up Kittle had already said that he was going to show up he was not going to hold out or do any of that because he's a captain on the team and he wants to show his teammates that that's not how you do things as you let your agent and the team go ahead and battle that out and at the end of the day things will wind up being reconciled in some way shape or form but one thing that I can tell you is, to be flat out honest with you, when it comes to the Kittle situation, I mean, you know, shout out to Hawk Hater. Um, I know that, <laughs> I know Dre is, is is very on top of uh, people who are very frustrated with the Kittle situation, um, you know, as far as us not really seeing much of him, him not being available to the media, all of those things. I mean, it does make sense, even though he may feel that that's something minor, to other 49er fans, that's alarming. And it, it does seem kind of alarming that you haven't really heard nothing from him. You haven't seen much of anything from him, you know. But maybe that's just done purposely to get things done behind the scenes. And then when they get it all done, they'll go ahead and bring them to the forefront. But as I stated on a previous video, period, point blank, they don't want that man in front of the media being asked that question. He will deflect the attention to his agent and to the organization. But at the end of the day, they don't want that question being asked because there's already enough going on with, you know, everybody wondering what is going on with his contract extension in general. Because if Kittle is smart, Kittle going to do what he do. He going to go out there, he going to ball out. And next year, say we win the Super Bowl, his numbers is going to only get higher. And, I mean, this, this bodes well for him. I mean, hey, go out, play ball, make your money, do what you love doing. And at the same time, know that your payday is going to be flat out ridiculous next year. So hopefully the contract will get done sometime soon. But is it alarming that you don't see much of Kittle when they do do a lot of uh, media things? Yeah. Usually with somebody that big and a tight end with that kind of personality, you'd want to see him because he just brings a good vibe to the team. And, I mean, the dude is hilarious. I mean, I did see him uh, on Twitter recently getting himself a Halo tattoo. Um, I've never really played Halo, never really a big fan, but if he's a fan of it and he wants to tat, hey, by all means, that's cool. But it's without seeing him by the team and without seeing him via 49ers.com and via the 49er app, all those things, that's what we're questioning. So... Hopefully things get done so we don't have to question this anymore and we can keep on moving. But y'all have yourselves a great day. Stay 49 and faithful. Stay blessed. And I'm out.